All right. I thought I would start this one off. I get a lot of requests for Casey, how's the market? What's it like this week? What are you seeing? What are the trends? Things like that. Well, where I get my information is obviously MLS and I look for trends, but also every morning, first thing I do is run what's called the hot sheet. Okay. It's going to tell me what the active pending sold and just kind of get a temperature. So what I thought I would do is once a week, start to show you um, after a weekend of input, um, what the previous 72 hours in the marketplace look like. And then that'll give you a good sense of how's the market. Okay, it's going to be a good barometer on what's going on. So it's not a full week snapshot. But if we're doing this every Monday, after a long weekend, it's a pretty healthy snapshot on what you can see. So what I'm going to do is um, share screen here. And we're just going to go directly into um, the hot sheet. So you can see what I see on a daily basis. So let me get out of this. Let me drop me down here in the corner. And then I'm going to give you this screen. So let me widen this out a little bit. So I want to show you what I'm looking at. And so when I pull the hot sheet, just so you're aware of the areas that we're going to be looking at, um, I can break this down into just Destin. I can break this down into just 30A. But what I like to do is I really stretch it from Destin, from the bridge, all the way through Inlet Beach. Okay. Even north of 98. So everything south of the bay and from Destin Bridge to the Inlet Bridge, okay? That's what I'm looking at, and I'm looking at residential properties and vacant land, okay? Because I think that's the best general outline, and it's more specific to what we do here. Obviously, we work in Panama City. We look at a different um, um, service for that one. But let's run this so I can just show you what the market's doing, okay? All right, so here's the first thing I do. So you see all these numbers. I'm not gonna take you through all of these, but on a very high level, when you go over here to this left-hand side and highlight it, it's gonna give you a good balance and it's gonna be a good representation. So first category, new listings. So basically it's saying that there's been 52 new listings come on the market in the last 72 hours through this area, 52, all right? Um, also in the last 72 hours, 42 properties have gone under contract. That's, that's healthy. Um, since July, you know, that number had slowed down some, but when you got 52 on and you're taking 42 off, that's a pretty healthy um, balance there between those two, all right? And then I like to go down here next. This is the other one I like to look at, which is price changes, okay? So this has been, since July, this has probably been the category that has come, that has increased the most. I mean, honestly, spring this year, probably March, this category was very light, all right? But I wanna emphasize something here, and we'll scroll down to some of these. Some of these price changes are like $1,000 price changes just to keep it on the hot sheet, okay? So that we pay attention to it. Um, other ones are just, they were shooting, really high on the price and just needed to adjust because things have maybe leveled out in that specific neighborhood. All right. So we'll take a quick look at those, but also show you that uh, one thing I heard a, a friend say one time that I love to say is that closings happen every day. I don't care if it's an oil spill. I don't care if it's a hurricane, I don't, whatever. Closings are going to happen every day. And so over the last 72 hours, it's been 23. Okay. So we're seeing um, way more new, the two categories that are up, new listings and price changes, okay, just as a whole. And if you start to do this weekly, you'll get a better sense of that. So what I like to do from here is I kind of open up the, the new, see what stands out. Um, this one on Oasis, that's a brand new construction over in Hammock. So you see this to be built 2023. I mean, there's still a decent amount of new construction. This is an interesting one here. We've seen a couple of these come up of late. Anything that is south of a million dollars on 30A jumps out to me. And I actually email that to myself. And I'm like, okay, who needs to see this? I know a lot of you are getting property updates from me, but that one's worth sitting around. Anything, especially a two bedroom, okay? So let's look and see. They don't have really any rental info in here. It's rented by the owner. So I have to follow up and get that. Um, this to be, it looks to be a new construction um, down Eastern Lake Road. 
Very nice, Mr. Stubert. Oh, that's actually Eastern Lakes. That's Lakeview, across from the old Florida Fish House area on 30A. Our friend Stuart Kirby. <clears throat> um, here's another one. <clears throat> this is a Gulf front, came out on the market. It says new listing. This one's at 13.9 million. This is Longview down the east end of 30A. Tricky one here is that this property has been on the market. They took it down for a couple of days and put it back on the market. So it feels new again, <clears throat> but I'll take a look at it. It's actually done some time out there on the market at this price point, okay? Um, this one in Bellamar, um, this is down the street from where I live. That's a great opportunity. I love that neighborhood. Um, but just several things to look at here. Here's one of the lowest priced Gulf front houses that you'll see on 30A. This is at 4.15 million. Um, this is a three bedroom, four and one half bath. It was built in 1976, okay? And so, um, you know, it's an older house. We can actually flip through a couple of photos here just to kind of show you uh, what something like that would look like. Um, but you see, it's a, it's a smaller Gulf front lot. Um, they've actually gone in and done a lot to the inside. Um, I remember this house from before. So they took it off the market and came in and renovated it and did a really nice job. So for the price point, I mean, 1,500 square feet for what Gulf Front lots are even going for. I mean, that's going to be an opportunity for somebody. All right. <clears throat> See if anything any kind of stands out to me here. Good mix. Um, let's go to the pending. So let's see what went under contract. <clears throat> See if there's anything compelling there. Excuse me. Um, all right, here's a Paradise by the Sea. This is a second row home, Paradise by the Sea. This one's showing up as sold, 8.3 million. One thing of note, Paradise by the Sea just went to um, rental restricted, okay? They were allowing vacation rentals. This home was actually on a vacation rental. So when this home sells, according to the way that was laid out, the new owner, it would no longer be a vacation rental option on the new rules that they set for the neighborhood. Um, here's a lot in Alice Beach, 62 by 84, just sold, went pending as 1.85 million. Let's scroll down through here. A102, that's uh, Alaria, um, very popular condo section up there. That's 674,000. That's a really good price point for somebody looking. Um, in the six is just because they do so well on rental. Let me go to the documents here. Rental projection, <clears throat> just to show you, on that 674 is around 55,000, okay? So those are proven performers, the ones that I look to if somebody's just looking for parking money in a place and letting it perform. Um, let's see what else. Um, there's one in Burnt Pine pending at 3 million. Um, down on the harbor on Barra Cruz, it's a beautiful boat out back. It's a 1995 home, 2.495 million under contract this weekend. Great house over in Botany. Um, really a fan of this community if you're a Bayfront uh, buyer. This one was 3.19 million, one under contract. Um, yeah, just some fun stuff there. Let's look at closings. Then I'm gonna go over some of the cancellations and talk to you about what that means. Um, these amount of lots here, Nice thing on closings, it's always a nice snapshot of a variety of different properties. There's a C plan over at Prominence, a two bedroom going for 905. Um, those continue to do tremendously well. I've actually got an A plan we're going to be bringing on the market very soon over there. Go a few heights, brand new build, 1.5 million on that one. Really nice. Um, where is this uh, park place? Great condo complex, just sold 2.895 million. That's $1,200 a foot at Park Place. It's a Gulf Front, low density. I believe there's 16 condos in that building. Another watercolor sale, $3 million, and then that paradise. So let's look at cancel. Um, these are canceled listings. Um, variety of reasons here, maybe people coming off the market. Could be just some sales strategy here, hard to tell. Um, back on the market, there's 13 of them back on the market. This could be somebody that was taking it off to do some refreshing. This could be something where they went under contract and the buyer's financing fell through, anything along those lines. So it's hard to know the whole story with those. So I don't dwell too much on the back on market. Um, and then in the coming soon listings, let's see what's out there. 
Cabana Club. This is a Destin condo, one bedroom on the Gulf for five ninety five. dollars um, Anything in that price point. You know, at, and once you get start getting around six to seven, people want to see two bedrooms or at least two bedroom sleeping options down in Destin. So overall, um, really healthy. Um, but I, I will say the what I, what continues to happen, and let me um, come back to me real here. We're, we'll, we'll continue to do this weekly just so you can see it. But watch the trend of um, I watch how many new listings are coming on and how many price reductions. Those have been the two new movers for us over the last six months. We were literally seeing hardly, we were always seeing new listings, but the amount of new listings and then the amount of price reduction. So we're adding them on and we're kind of balancing out the price and we continue to do that. But the pending, the pendings are doing okay right now. They're doing good. So I think that here's a couple, a couple of terms, hot, slow, things like that. It's, it's neither one, it's very steady, okay? I like to just go to the math. I like to just go to real life, not feel, not what the neighbors are saying. Oh, Casey, I heard it's hot. Casey, I heard it's slow. It's steady. If you're priced right and just have a little bit of patience, there's gonna be a buyer for you, okay? That, that remains the, the theme here in the second week of September. So hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna to continue to do this, just so you can keep a gauge on it. And then let me know if there's anything that I can kind of add to this experience for you.